friends welcome back to crust cranks okay i know it's been a minute since we did a did some soft plastic videos but um i got a bunch coming up for you because i'm going to be restocking up for spring to sell at the at the events and um this one's for an, actually for a reorder um so i wanted to bring you along and show you this little mix and show you how i create these these are called just the tip and uh so I got this new mold, and actually it's I've had it a little while now. I've done a couple orders for it, and it's a Helgramite. And uh, we a lot of guys around here like the Helgramites, and uh, one of my buddies was that fishes the tournaments a lot was asking me to, if I could do any of these. So um, obviously I do bass tackle molds mostly. Bass tackle I like their molds, and uh, and the thing I like about bass tackle is I can buy a single or a double cavity mold. And then if I like that mold, I can then I can go ahead and buy a bunch of uh, either more of them if they have like this one only comes to cavity. Actually, it might come for cavity, but if it does, you know, and then I'll buy more if I'm if I'm selling a lot of that bait style. Um, so this one I know is going to be a big seller. I haven't introduced it out there yet, except for a couple people have have seen it and used it. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd bring you along on this one and show you what I'm doing. Um, so I did him some black ones, some solid black ones in this Helgramite, and he loved them. And he was like, can you do some with the, with maybe a chartreuse tail? So I was playing around with it, and I figured out a way I could do it. Now, this doesn't have a tail mold with it, so um, i got to kind of do it manually. So I figured I'd show you what you could do if you didn't have a tail mold available. Um for a particular mold um so yeah let's make some um just the tip helgramites all right so i've got a couple colors mixed up here or not mixed yet but got a couple cups of plastic here and uh already got it degassed and heated up so we're gonna do some black and chartreuse tips so let me show you what what my process was to create these and I got to shoot a bunch of these because I just got a feeling once I seen one you know it's gonna turn out it's gonna turn out pretty good okay so um sorry about that I had to answer the phone real quick all right so uh got two cups of plastic here already got them degassed warmed up ready to mix and uh we're going to do the black and the chartreuse. So for black, I'm using the MF colors. And uh, it's just black non-bleed. I'm going to use 60 drops in there. So usually with these MF colors, as I've said before, they're kind of thin. So you got to kind of double them up. And this is black as black, so, you know, you don't really have to be real particular about the drops. Because black is black. So that's really as long as we get it. He, he wanted them nice and black, nice and solid, so you couldn't see through them. So, we'll get this nice and black for him. So, do roughly 60. 60 gets you there. Got a little more to go. Kind of lost count there. Give it another little shake because it's been sitting for a few minutes. So we're going to go black with the chartreuse tail. So we won't actually need the black for a minute. I'm going to shoot a few tails and show you how I do the tails. But it's pretty much a manual, a manual experience. So that way, um, yeah, when I get, I'm going to definitely get more of these. I'm going to get, this one is the four inch. Um, I'll show it to you when we do the chartreuse but 
for chartreuse I'm using the rest of this Jans Netcraft chartreuse I got or you can use the MF colors chartreuse um, I got a little bit left in this bottle so and I got actually got another big old puck of it but with these they're a little stronger so probably about 30 drops 30 to 40 drops will get you will get you there I mean once you start making baits you probably will end up not counting drops but some people want to know how many drops did you put in that and really a lot of times you can just eyeball it once you once you've made them you can usually end up knowing how much you gotta mix this one got been sitting for a minute so I'm gonna have to throw this one back in let me heat this back up a little bit and I'll bring you back and we'll shoot some tails okay and I'm using dead on swim bait blend because I wanted them to be a little more firm So I decided to go with the swim bait, swim bait blend, and uh, he loved them. The customer, he loved them. Liked how they were nice and firm. So, all right, let's uh, shoot a tail. So, get my threads back on here real quick. But yeah. Um, I like the fact that I can buy a mold and check it out and then if I like that mold I can just buy more of them or buy one with more cavities and like I said I got the 4 inch on this one I think I'm probably going to get a 6 inch too and then um, that way I can make two sizes at the same time and I'll get another couple of these 2 inches at least enough I can do like a 6 pack or 6 at a time I think they were only like 89 maybe 90 bucks for the 4 inch and then I think the 6 inch is like 99 bucks so even if I spend you know a couple more hundred dollars on on the molds I'll be able to especially do the tails faster and just be able to create a pack of them at once I like to at least be able to shoot a pack at once like one whole pack but let's let that cool and then we'll open it up and see what it looks like all right i think it's cool now let's see what it looks like do is I count up about four nodes one two three four and then I cut that tail off one two three four one two three four cut that tail off and I got me a couple tips all right and I'll just usually throw that back in the cup, reheat it again, and um, I'll bring you back after I got some of these made, and then we'll do some black ones. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and shoot some black a few black ones here and I like to do this especially if I'm 
doing a two color one because it kind of lets me, uh, for one, check out my black, see if it's dark enough. And two, it lets me heat up the mold a little bit before I do the two color ones because after you shoot a pack of these, you know, a six pack, eight pack, something like that, this mold starts getting hot. And then all I got to do is heat it a little bit with my heat gun. Soften them tails up a little bit. And I asked him if they, any of them came apart. He said no. So, but yeah, let's do some black ones real quick. Show you what the mold looks like. If you're just doing a single color. It does flash a little bit around these little legs, but I don't think it makes much of a big deal. But I'm going to go ahead and shoot some more, get this mold heated up, and then we'll put some uh, we'll put some of the tails in real quick. Okay, got the mold. It's a little hot right now. It's a little hot to touch. Okay, so make sure I get this in the camera here where you can see it. So basically, I'm just going to take these little tips and we'll put them in there like so. Make sure they're in there real good. They fit in there pretty nice, pretty easy. Okay, like so. And then I'm going to heat it up a little bit. soften them up a little bit and like I said the mold's already hot you don't want to remelt them you just want to get them warm and when I do a lot of them I have a hot plate that I use too that helps keeps the mold warm but I got a couple hundred of these to make so I'm just gonna wait till my other molds get here before I make all them. But I wanted to show you what they look like. All right, then I'm gonna take my black. Shoot my black in there. that cool for a minute okay let's see what they look like yeah these aluminum molds get hot after you shoot a couple a couple packs of baits in them for sure so I don't worry too much about the bonding because they usually always bond pretty good Do your fingers good too. There we go. I'm running a little hot. You can see a little bit of flashing on there, but there's your tips. Helper might with the chartreuse tip. 
All right, let's do another tail tip color. On this one, we're gonna do some electric blue because I know my buddy likes black and blue. So we're gonna surprise him with these electric blue ones too. I think they'll turn out pretty good. I'm gonna go with 35 drops. This is a, this is a Lorecraft electric blue. And I think this is going to turn out pretty cool too with the, with the black because I know he likes blue and black. So I'll shoot one of these and then I'll shoot a bunch up and we'll see what one looks like on black and blue. I think this will be a good seller. I'll probably end up making a bunch of these. I'm gonna definitely get me some more, get my other molds in here and crank out a few thousand of these dudes. And you don't make a lot of profit on soft plastics, but when I make them, I like to make a whole ton of, bunch of them, hundreds of them, and then that way, um, when I get into the season, I don't don't have to stop and make some colors. Usually have a 10, 20, maybe 30 packs of each color, and then that way, if I sell five on that day or 10 on that day, whatever, and then I'll come back and make 10 more packs just to keep my stock up. But yeah, you don't make a lot of profit on soft plastics. But you know, if you're out there selling baits. And somebody walks past your crankbaits, they're probably going to walk over and pick up your soft plastics. That's what I've learned. So, you know, it's almost something you've got to get into. If you're just out there selling baits, you might sit there all day and only sell a couple crankbaits. But, offer them a good price. And, uh, you know, I usually sell mine for like five bucks a pack. And, um, you know, people buy them. A lot of times you got the colors that people can't find at Walmart or like we like our nearest Bass Pro Shop is like a mile about an hour away miles away almost said a mile away it's not far enough. it's about an hour hour and a half of traffic's bad so you know a lot of guys from my area over here they don't want to drive that far and uh, I, I actually get once I meet somebody at a craft event and they buy my soft plastics they usually turn into a customer and usually end up calling me and making more orders. And I'll get really busy in the spring. So I like to have a bunch done. So if they do call me and say, hey, can I get some more of those Helgramites? I can usually say, yeah, how much? How much will you do? That's how I'll do you. 100 and give them a good price on 100 And usually that works usually like I'll take them so that's the only way you really want to make any profit um, is having them done already just bite down and take the time it takes to make them and then uh, have them done and that way you can do move on to your other stuff but I'll bring this bring you back and we'll take a look at the black and blue ones Okay, let's do it blue and black here. Can I eat This mold too, you don't even really have to worry about the cavity too much. I mean, as long as it's shot shoots down in there, you don't really have to worry about the sprue being full. I still top it off though; it's just a habit. All right, I'm gonna let that cool, and we'll peel it open, and then uh, I'm gonna get to making some baits. Okay. 
Let's see what she looks like. Oh, sweet. Yeah. flashing on it. If you give a little tug, it comes right off. Alright. There's the black and blues. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and bust out some baits here and I'll bring you back when it's all when I'm all done and I'll show you my tray of uh, finished pieces. Alright friends, here's what we got done. I went on and made up a few other ones here. Uh, so, here's a blue and blacks. Got solid blacks. Did some with a little orange tail, a little laser orange tail. There's the chartreuse. There's the blues. And then I threw in some, I had a little puck of green, green pumpkin left. So I threw that in there and did some more chartreuse. So, yeah, get yourself one of those bass tackle molds and um, make you up some of these. I'm sure you'll sell them. If you're selling baits, you'll sell them. They're pretty popular around here, so. Makes a nice tray of uh, smally snacks. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put up our next video. And always remember, stay crusty, my friends. <laughs>